Hello and welcome back. I know it's been an extremely long time, but I've been uh, busy on multiple projects. Uh, one thing I would like to uh, say is I'd like to start off with the installation of what's called a spacewalk server. Um, basically, this will keep everything in line. Uh, you can run audits on it. You can keep track of software packages. Um, unfortunately, it does not work with Red Hat. There are some hacks, but I wouldn't recommend it. I actually uh, recommend using the uh, commercial available uh, thing called Satellite Server. Um, like I said, this is spacewalk. You can use this with CentOS, uh, Fedora. Um, I believe you can even do some BSD and stuff like there. But uh, we'll just go through the basic install, get the web interface working, stuff like that. Then I'll go through the other um, kind of more complicated things like setting up a repository, um, setting up a TFTP server so you can do uh, bare metal installs from uh, this as well. Uh, so there'll be multiple steps to this or multiple parts. Uh, once again, I apologize for not uh, posting videos more often, but. Uh, Enough with that, let's get installing this and then we'll go through the steps. First off, we're going to need to install the um, RPMs that are going to be available or needed for this. And these links will be also on the uh, uh, docu wiki that I've created um, with links and stuff like that and how to do this. Another uh, thing that's going to be needed is what's called the J package, um, it's basically a generic thing. Um, so, what we'll need to do here is actually uh, create a repo. Should have created that. And then last but not least, we need to install the uh, Apple, uh, which is the extra package uh, enterprise Linux. You're going to run a yum repo list. And here we should see the uh, J package, the Apple, the base, and then uh, the spacewalk itself. Um, since we're going to be installing this with Postgres SQL, we're just going to use the yum install spacewalk postgres sql uh, command and this will take a while so i'll be back and forth and i'll shorten this down because i really don't like anything personally uh longer than about five minute sessions so we'll do like five minute sessions for each one of these things Everything looks good for the most part there. We're going to download these 449 packages. Like I said, I'll shorten this up. And then uh, once that gets done, we'll probably be done with the base install. And then uh, we'll go start creating channels and different uh, other stuff within Spacewalk that makes it uh, a really great management tool uh, as well as other uh, things for your corporation or small home lab. You'll just say yes to this. And this is basically just adding the uh, keys to the uh, uh, list that it'll allow.
Okay, now that we've got all the RPMs installed and everything uh, seems to have been installed from the package perspective, everything's good. Now we're just going to do the initial spacewalk setup. And basically the command for that is spacewalk setup disconnected. It's currently going through and setting up the database. And now it's populating the database. And here it's asking for the admin email address uh, for this person to make it real easy. Here it's uh, going to be setting up the uh, SSL server, creating a certificate, asking for a password. Uh, since we're going to be installing TFTP, you don't have to, but uh, we want to be able to do the bare metal installs. So we'll say yes to this. Okay, the installation has been completed. It's given us the uh, fully qualified fully qualified domain name um, so that we can do the uh, create the administrator account. Uh, so that concludes this part of the uh, basic command line or from the uh, thing from there. We'll go into the web GUI and set up the administrator account and then create some channels and some other interesting things that you can do with Spacewalk. Okay, now that that's been set up, we're gonna to go to the actual web page and go to the web GUI. Uh, what we'll have to do here is go to the uh, fully qualified domain name. If you have to, you can go by IP address, but I uh, strongly suggest using the fully qualified domain name. And then from there, uh, you'll be creating the uh, administrator account. Uh, here's a certificate, self-signed one. Continue. And here's your login information. Great login, and there is your initial clean system, no channels, no nothing, bare bones, spacewalk install. Thank you, and uh, come back, I'll have another uh, step to this where we'll actually be creating some channels, um, setting up uh, different systems, then we'll go through the uh, configuration of the bare metal install. Uh, thanks for checking this out. You can check out my uh, videos at uh, YouTube, and uh, thank you for your time.